Welcome along to this week's Boyle Sports Bet Zone with me, Nigel Seeley. No Premier League action this weekend, but a monster weekend of international football. I'm delighted to say joining me to look ahead to the nice, uh, this weekend's live matches is former Republic of Ireland international striker Tony Cascarino. Good morning, Tony. Hi, Nigel. Uh, very well, sir. Very well indeed. Do you like the tash? Um, it's not quite there yet. And... It looks a bit like your eyebrows dropped down for a drink because <laughs> it's pretty. What? How long have you been going with that one? I think, have you ever grown a sash? In your I'm, I'm a bit, probably a bit like you. I can't grow facial hair. It doesn't come up slightly, but not a lot. Well, anyway, this has taken me, like I said, last November. So this has been, I've gone on for 380 days I've grown this and it's looking very fetching, I must admit. OK, let's talk a bit of football and the big game, without a shadow of a doubt, qualification Group D. Uh, Republic of Ireland travelled to Scotland at Celtic Park. Massive, massive match. Mm. What's your thoughts? Um, I'm excited. Obviously played at Celtic, so that's a big thing. And the uh, atmosphere is second to none. It's going to feel like an old firm derby because Scotland, you know, what's happened to them in recent months as well is pretty similar with, you know, the way they played in Germany. Um, we've had some good results unbeaten, although Scotland did get beaten in Germany. They played very well. Um, I always look at Celtic Park with fond memories because I had a really difficult time there. I didn't have a, have a, a good time at all. And... I think of the jungle and, you know, I had the most famous seven minutes in football probably at Celtic Park where I came on as a sub, scored, gave a penalty away and got sent off in seven minutes. <laughs> Very similar to my debut for Worcester Park Athletic uh, against uh, Mantoba. Very yeah. similar story. But obviously there, there was more people watching my game than that one. But, uh, so, uh, but the, t the bookies, Boyle Sports, make Celtic slight, uh, sorry, make Scotland's favourites here at 13 to 10. But the Irish punters are going to get stuck into the Republic of Ireland at 21 to 10, aren't they? Um, I think so. I think certainly not many goals. I think the way the two teams are set up, um, they're not really conducive to going out and getting lots of goals. And I feel it'll be a real tight affair. We've scored a couple of really late goals in games. You know, we certainly, we did it um, against Georgia and we did it in Germany. So I can't see many. I don't think Ireland will win. I think Scotland are really dangerous. I mean, look, hey, first goal scorer, which I really love. Having a little bit. Naismith is so dangerous. Naismith scares the life out of me because when you're watching for a club at Everton, he keeps chipping in and he'll do that with Scotland. So he really worries me. So if you are having a bet on the first goal scorer, remember cash back. If you're losing first goal scorer goes on to score the second goals, you will get your cash back on that. So Naismith could be the bet for Tony. Just some stats for you. No goal scorer I like. I think six to one. I don't think it's going to be many goals. It's both teams not to score eight to 11, under two and a half goals in the game. A bit short at one to two, but Scotland's last four home games, every one under two and a half goals. And Republic of Ireland have drawn four blanks in their last six road matches. Yeah, I, I think the, the bookies have been really shrewd, shrewd on what they see the game. They see a really tight affair and li very little happening. And I'd, I'd maybe even be a bit braver and go under two goals. I think it could be a 1-0 either way. Or, or like you said, a 0-0. I cannot see goal for love, no money. I think we'll cancel each other. I, I, I tell you what I would like, go for a card, a red card. Mm -hmm. I could easily... I played in, what, two, two old firm games, and I really feel it would be a similar atmosphere. But with the managers, the links at Celtic... Strachan, O'Neill and Keane on the side. I think a red card would be easily. And I, I think the first old firm game I played in, there was two red cards in that particular game. So don't be surprised if that happens. So we could have some red cards, more cards and Clintons, we reckon, they're going to be dished out in this one. Uh, and a great, the game could turn out to a bit of damp script, so under two and a half goals from me. I've got a special treble for you, enhanced by Ball Sports, which I'll come on to a little bit later. But one of my first selections is under two and a half goals and both teams not to score in that game. OK, Group F, uh, Friday, 7.45, same time as the match kicks off at Celtic. Romania v Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland done fantastically well. Three wins from three, but this is about as tough as it gets. <laughs> it's going to end. <laughs> so they've had a good time. It's uh, a really hot, tough game. Romania as a nation, and I think of all the players that they've brought and lots of gifted young lads that have come through, um, I think it'll be a massive ask for the North to get, uh, get something. And I'm sure that it's reflected by some of the games that the North have played already because they've had some good results. I think it'll all end in Bucharest. Well, I'm surprised to see the price. Romania 6-10 to 10 to win this game with Ball Sports. 11-2 to 2 you can get for Northern Ireland, 5-2 to 2 about the draw. But my theory is if this was the first match of qualification campaign, mm. Romania would be three on. Oh, absolutely. Um, but the North have shown a lot of character, a couple of incredible performances. Uh, but like I'll go back to, I, I think it like, I'm a bit like you. 
They easily could be a three to one shot on uh, Romania. Have you played in Romania before? I've played a couple of times, yeah. And I remember going I was to we Worcester Park uh, FC to Romania. <laughs> Chris, we got beat by a young side, some guy called Hadji was playing, whatever his name. But he was there. I, when, I, when I was in Nancy, my coach was Ladlo Bolony. He won the European Cup or the old European Cup, Champions League. Uh, in 86 when he drew 0-0 with Bucharest and he ended up being my manager in France in Nancy, toughest guy in football I ever met and he literally, I walked in at Nancy Football Club, he said how old are you? I said 34, he said I'll get four years out of you and I'll tell you what, I never trained so hard in my life, he whipped my backside like you wouldn't believe. Well, enough of your Friday night exercise there, but let's have a look at uh, Northern Ireland, some stats for you. Every game Romania have played so far, under two and a half goals has landed. Two of the three games in Northern Ireland, under two and a half goals has landed. Both teams not to score, eight to 15, I like that. And under two and a half goals at eight to 15, I like that too. Um, I think Romania will get, I, I'm, I'm against that. I think Romania will beat Northern Ireland quite convincingly. Okay, so Romania for Tony, I'm going for a damp squib, low goals, It'll be 10 men behind the ball, uh, O'Neill will park the bus and the Romanians will have to get past it. Uh, England's in action, Group E, uh, Saturday 5 o'clock, I was actually watching this game thinking, you know what, I'd rather be watching Strictly, uh, and I, 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 I think I will be watching Strictly rather than I, this game. By the way, I played golf with Len Goodman. Uh, seven? Yeah, seven, seven. well, he, he, we played golf and the uh, first time I've ever met him and we chatted and um, I asked him if he had any kids, and he said, yeah, I've got one kid. And he said to me, how many you got? I said, I've got five. He said, I, I, I think kids are like farts. I went, what, Len? He went, yeah, you only like your own. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he had seven. <laughs> but, I thought a really good line. Yeah, very good line. I, I'm more of a Brucey man. It's Mr. Yeah, as well. yeah. I've gone for the Brucey look here. Uh, okay, England and Slovenia. England one to three to win this. They're not going to slip up against his side. Slovenia are 18 to no. uh, 19 to two for Slovenia. 18 to five to Drew. Rainy, Rainy Rooney makes his hundredth cap. Yeah, I, I mean, as a uh, prospect of betting, it's really hard to look at England and think there are any value at all. Finding the first goal scorer, um, Rooney takes penalties, so you always sort of go for him under the cap. It feels all a bit nostalgic. Um, England will win it comfortably. I think if you're going to have a punt, try and pick the score of 2-0, 3-0. 2-0. I think Neil will be there. Well, England to win to Neil is a bet I like here at 20 yeah. to 23, around about even money with Ball Sports. Under two and a half goals has come in on every single Slovenian game this year, and England haven't conceded a goal now for 450 minutes. Mr. Luis Suarez in Sao Paulo. Wow. That feels like yesterday, doesn't it, the, the World Cup? Um, but they haven't got no uh, Luis Suarez, have they, Slovenia? So, no. to Neil is the bet. To Neil, definitely the bet there. And that is one of my uh, bets in my enhanced treble. 7-2, to two, which I'll come on to you at the end of the show. Uh, final game, Belgium against uh, Wales, Sunday, 5 o'clock. And out of all the three games, I th four, four games this weekend, I think this will be an entertaining one. Well, the, the Belgium are a very good side. They've got loads of good players. We all remember them from the World Cup. And they, they scored a lot of goals, didn't they? In certain games, they look really frightening. As our... He just looks like he's absolutely moved on to another level. Wales have been really good under Coleman, but you always feel is whether Gareth Bale is going to absolutely shine because he does make the difference. And he's done it already in a away game for them. He changed the game. He is the man that really, if they're going to get anything out of it, they need Gareth to be what he is, one of the world's best players. Mm. So it's Belgium against Gareth Bale, or Wales, as I like to call them. Wales are unbeaten in this qualification campaign, but Belgium, though, are unbeaten in their last 10 home matches. 2-7 uh, to seven for Belgium, 19-2 to two for Wales, the same price as Slovenia are to beat England, and 17-4 to four the draw. Five meetings between the two sides in history, four of them both teams have scored. I fancy goals. Yeah, I, I can't see not. I, you know, Wales will have to score at some time because I feel that the, they will not. They will certainly get goals. Belgium, their 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 side is set up to get goals. Um, I think Ben Tico's back, isn't he, as well, mm. back in the group, which would be a big plus for them because Lukaku's been there and been in and out. They've got some really good for forwards with real pace. So if you want to go for that, uh, Bale to score the first goal is 13 to 2. There's always goals in the game. But my bet for the weekend is a very negative treble. I like being negative. I like my football dour. I like nil nils. I don't like three threes. I like proper dour games of football. And I'm going for both teams not to score treble. Scotland v Republic of Ireland, that will be nil nil in my opinion. Uh, Romania v Northern Ireland, I fancy Romania to win to nil there. And I like England v Slovenia. I'll be watching strictly with your mate Len, but uh, I'll be watching that. But I'm going for a treble, those three. 
both teams not to score, and Ball Sports have enhanced that treble at 7-2. to two. Do you like the look at it? Yeah, yeah. It sounds good. I, 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 I'm a bit worried about Naismith. I think he'll score against uh, Ireland, but I think we'll get something out of the game in a draw. So... And what would, you, what would be your nap of the... Of I think Romania will beat uh, Northern Ireland comfortably. Yeah, six to ten you can get on that. does look great value. And remember, if you are betting a goal scorer, Nate Smith or Bale or anybody else, if, you score, if you're first goal scorer, you get cash back. If you're losing first goal scorer, selection scores the second goal. And if you want to bet my treble, you can get it on now on ballsports.com. Tony, thank you very much for joining us here thank on The you. Bet Zone. Uh, good luck to Ireland. Good luck to all the home nations. And we'll see you again next week.